Well, hello everybody. I'm going to get right to the point. We're going to show you how to build out the starting area in Zion. All right, so in the beginning of the game, you're going to start much like this with a bunch of scattered resources. What you want to do is focus on three things, storage, food, and housing. We'll start by building roads and connecting to the outer roads to start gathering resources. A lot of people, and myself included, like to use this back area for storage. You'll need several storage areas. You'll need to build a workshop in order to build things. You want to make sure that the arrows are pointing towards a road or that your road is extended in order to connect. This is a good place to place it as the roads connect to the next section, which will, you'll be doing at a much later stage in the game. Build your roads out like that. Allow your men to start building up. Once your roads are built up you'll be able to start building out your stockpile at which point you can start gathering resources i would suggest having at least three small stockpiles once your stockpile has been assembled you'll select what resources to store the majority of it is going to be alloy you have a lot of alloy and you also want to start gathering food to feed to your civilians at a later juncture you'll be gathering polymers that's used to construct both ships and probes and some other special buildings so start gathering the resources around your area and clear it out connect it to the other side of the area over there all right so our goal is to get our first science vessel out as soon as possible so that we can start researching the ability to make food from insect farms we will want to collect these um, polymers over here so let's build out our third storage area and we are going to fill that full of polymers harvest the food all right now we can get polymers so we can start building out our first science ship we want to get enough science so we can start researching i'm going to place my first residencies here the front the ephemerae right between them and the road right here now we have our science vessel we'll send it to the moon to do research once there select the magnifying glass uh exploit security vulnerability that will get us our first little bit of technology build out the affirm infirmary wherever you see fit i like to put it here continue to harvest resources as you need them continue to place residence as you need them once your science ship is done investigating click on the magnifying glass in data uh, dismantle base that will give us some more technology right now he's gathering technology and then once completed it will collect science extract he will be getting us more science all right now that we have science we want to start pushing for a uh, tech lab i put mine in the corner over here get rid of these areas right here to the best of your ability all right once the tech lab is up you want to research insect farm and you already have solar panels but you need an eva airlock in order to build the solar panels so research insect farm and eva airlock i would encourage you to organize this how you see fit as you learn more about the game these are just the first steps you need to take to just not die and to progress harvest these resources now that you have connections to them go ahead and get your fourth crew quarter up get your your mess hall up as soon as you can too and then continue to use your science vessel to investigate everything with a magnifying glass for more research and materials. Watch your electricity because it will go fast, but that's why we're trying to get the EVA airlock so that we can build solar panels. All right, now that we're at Saturn, um, I'm gonna attempt to locate debris in orbit or I could send a team to investigate. I'm gonna send a team to investigate. You can do however you feel. Now that we got this area cleaned, we'll wanna clear this area for the airlock. Build a road and connect to this area. All right, and then we can build the airlock out. This will allow us to place solar panels that side. And once those solar panels are placed, we can place our food. Remember to keep gathering from your science. All right, we're out of power. Go ahead and turn off your technology. Turn off whatever you need to turn off to get it uh, going. Once we get the solar panel on the outside, uh, we can go. All right, now that we have it, click on your EVA airlock down in the right-hand corner external construction this gives us a big old list of everything we can make so we can build all of these kind of solar panels we only have one option right now and we're going to build that now we go back inside make sure that they have enough polymers to build it which they do all right now we have 51 energy left turn your research back on and click research on the insect farm and then once we get the insect farm back up we are in business i'm going to delete these roads here most likely i'll delete this road too and line it up better Right now, it's just a uh, placeholder. All right, we got the insect farm. A uh, good place for the insect farm is back here. Two of them ought to do it for like your first population. You can put them right there and you can build out this area however you feel fit. I would further use this area to build out your population centers because it's a nice spot for it. All right, and they say we're being overworked because we don't have enough workers for the area. 
This would be my ideal crossroad right here in this design. All the buildings will kind of align in this this nice little pattern here. Can have all my all my guys in one spot. Not bad. All right, and now we got food. We got a place to feed everybody, and you have the basic setup. That's how I'd start the game. Now, of course, you'll want to play around with this game, get more knowledge. Eventually, people will have perfect setups. But thank you for watching.